Hi. Hey everyone. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Eva. Thanks to my allergies, my eyes are very swollen and puffy and disgusting. So, no makeup for me. So instead, I thought I would bring you guys my perfume collection slash kind of storage. So that is what we are doing today. I am freehanding my camera. I'm not putting it on a tripod or anything, so I apologize if the lighting is off or it's wobbly or unstable, but hopefully this, this works. So as soon as you walk into my office slash beauty room, in the corner, I have this table right here, this little three, three shelved table. And my dad actually made this table a super long time ago. I was, I don't know, I might have even been a baby. And yeah, he's painted it a bunch of times. It's supposed to be white. It's kind of like an off-white cream shade now because it is so old. And it's been through a lot of moves, so it's pretty like pretty nicked up right here. And yeah, but anyway, I love this table. It just fits really nicely in the corner. So the top shelf here is where I keep the perfumes that I wear the most. So in this container here, I got this from the dollar store. I keep all my little travel size, like rollerball spray type bottles. I usually have them standing up like that, but they've been falling over a lot. So now I just kind of stuck them in here. So the first one is a Juicy Couture. Juicy and Gucci are my favorite perfume brands. And then this one here is Gucci Guilty Black. And the top was broken, the cap was broken, so I ended up just getting rid of it. The next one is Prada Candy, which I'm running low. I've only had this for a couple of months and I'm already starting to run low. I've asked for a bigger size for Mother's Day because I love this perfume. Next up is by Tatcha, and this is Stella. I just picked this up a couple of days ago during the VIB, um, VIB sale, the 15% off sale, and my second youngest, Anna, was smelling a bunch of perfumes, and she really liked this one, and I liked it too, so we decided to pick it up. Next up is Gucci Bamboo, one of their, their newer perfumes. I got a sample around Christmas and I fell in love with it so I picked up the travel size. And then the last one is another Juicy Couture. This one smells like lilacs, which I love. And this one is a spray. Okay, and then getting onto the bigger bottles up here, like I said, these are the ones that I wear the most often. So this one here is by Nicki Minaj. I mean, it, it looks like her. And I believe it's called Menagesty, something like that. I picked this up at Walmart actually just a couple days after Ava was born. So I love this. I love this scent. This one is Gucci Guilty Premier. And this is the big bottle that my mom got for me for Christmas. I talked about this in one of my monthly favorites. I think it was January. Love that scent. It's a very good kind of fall wintry scent. And then this one over here is Viva La Juicy. This giant, giant bottle. I've actually traveled with this bottle. I love this, this scent here. This one here is by Ed Hardy. And I think the name of it is just Love Kills. I'm not sure, it's the pink bottle. My fiance loves this one. I, I have a couple bottles of the pink one. And then over in this corner here, these are kind of like oils, these three right here. And I picked these up at Superstore, just a, a grocery store of ours. This one is Jasmine. This one is Cannabis Flower. And this one is Lilac. And like I said, I love, love Lilac. I mix, I'm losing daylight. I mix Lilac and Jasmine together a lot. Try turning on the light. And I don't. I just love these. They're really good in the summer when you don't want to wear like a heavy perfume. And then this little one in the corner here is by Halle Berry, and it's called Closer. And I believe that was a Christmas gift. I think so. My mom and I are both really obsessed over perfume, and we have 
different taste when it comes to like our scent but we gift each other perfume all the time so that's what the second shelf looks like so i'm gonna move my little elephant i am obsessed over elephants okay so in the back here this one here is called rose rose de champs i think oh it's by However you pronounce it, La Octane, La Oxiton, however you say it. This was a limited edition and it smells exactly like roses. It smells really, really good. I have a lotion of this also. I love that stuff. Then this one here is called Mystical and I just found this one at Walmart. I used to wear this one all the time. I picked that up uh, roughly around when Allie was born, my second oldest and I've gone through probably three bottles of that. I used to really love that one. Then this one over here is a Celine Dion perfume. I don't know, I don't know the name of it. That was a gift. A couple more Ed Hardy. This one, the white bottle here is called Love something, Love and Luck. This one's Love and Luck. It's a very, uh, almost like a masculine scent, if that makes any sense at all. It's not, a fruity flowery like feminine scent I kind of I call this my badass perfume <laughs> so if I'm in a, a bad mood like this is kind of one of those don't mess with me scents I have another bottle of the pink one this was the the one that I originally bought this big bottle in the corner here is Madame 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 I think it's Madame it's a really interesting interesting bottle. My best friend gave me a sample of this and I wore it in Mexico when we went to Mexico for her wedding. I used the whole sample up and I ended up getting this big bottle off of, I believe it's called Fragrance X is the website and this giant, I think it's a 100 ml bottle, is that right? This giant bottle was only like $30 and it's very very strong so one spray is more than enough so that's why I've hardly used it but every time I spray that I think of Mexico which is exciting <laughs> and then this cool looking bottle here is Alien by Terry Mogler it's pronounced Terry Mogler and I picked that one up at on the same the same website as this again I believe it's called Fragrant X and this was a recommendation from Leanne Says here on YouTube she loves this perfume she's gone through many many bottles and I like it, but I, I don't love it on me. So I might end up giving that one away because I, like I said, I don't love the scent on me as much as I want to. And then this bottle over here is by Kylie Minogue and it's called Sexy Darling. And that was also a gift of a couple, couple smaller bottles over here. These two are both Beyonce Heat perfumes. And I think this one is like a summer summer heat and then that was the regular one. I love the orange one the most, but it doesn't last very long. At least that's what I feel. I love the scent of it, but it just doesn't last as long as I would like it to. And then this beautiful bottle right here with the rose on it. This is by Reese Witherspoon and it's called In Bloom. And I used to have, I think a lotion or a body spray which was the same thing and I ended up getting the bottle mostly just for the packaging because of the rose. This was from Avon. I got this through Avon probably five years ago and I hardly I hardly use it. Actually, I think I gave my mom the body spray or the lotion and I kept this bottle. It's really, really pretty. And then this one is by Britney Spears. I think it's Curious or Curiosity. Again, it's not really one of my favorites. I love the bottle, the kind of genie bottle shape, but I don't love the scent on me as much as I, I'd like to. Okay, and then lastly is the bottom shelf. The bottom shelf is pretty, pretty chaotic. There's a lot going on down here. So the majority of the bottom shelf is body sprays. That's kind of the theme of the bottom shelf. It's mostly body sprays. There's a couple of lotions in the back and it's also the least used in the back behind the sprays i have little bottles that i very rarely use but the nice thing about all of these body sprays here is that the girls can come in and use these i don't i don't mind if they spray 
you know, some of these body sprays compared to spraying like a perfume. So the first couple over here, this one is by um, Avon. I got this one through Avon and it's just a vanilla. I spray this at night before I go to bed and it just, it's relaxing and calming and I love vanilla. The next one is by Calgon and it's called Morning Glory. And I just have like a tiny, tiny little bit left. This was my scent. Like this was Mel right here. I wore this all through junior high and high school and probably the first half, about the first half of my 20s. Basically until my fiance, Sam, before him and I started dating. And he hates this smell. He like despises this smell. Haven't, I haven't worn this. I haven't picked up any more because he thinks it smells like Windex. So I just kind of have the bottle. I should throw it out, but I miss it. You know, when you've worn something for so long and now you just, you can't. Uh, oh well. Okay, this one is called Country Chick or Country Chic. Country Chic. It smells really, really good. It is Endless Weekend. This one is Hawaii. This one is Tokyo Lotus. This one is Sexy. Ooh. And this one is Pink Chiffon. Okay, then I have a couple of little, little guys over here. This one is a Nicki Minaj, I'm not sure the name of it. This one's by Clinique and it's called Happy. And I either got this as a points perk or a sample. I think it was a points perk. I actually really do like the smell of this one. And then we'll talk about this bag over here. So I have this bag from Sephora that has like different lipsticks all over it. And inside I keep all of the little samples that I get. I absolutely love, love, love getting perfume samples. I always ask for perfume samples when I go to Sephora or if I can get that as a perk, like a point perk, then I will get a bunch of them. This one is a Tory Burch. I love the packaging. I love the bottle of this one. But again, I don't really use it, so I could probably get rid of it. This one is a Halle Berry, and it's called Pure Orchid. My mom, my sister, and myself were all gifted this bottle. Um, I think this past Christmas, actually, in our stocking. My dad always gives us like little bottles like this in our stockings. And this one does smell very floral and feminine, which I enjoy. This baby fat perfume, and it's called Dare Me. And I've almost used the whole thing. And again, I believe this was a stocking stuffer a couple of years ago. This one is a bit of a stronger scent, but it is really, really good. And then this one is another Celine Dion. And I don't know the name of it, but again, we were all gifted one of these. And they're, it's pretty good too. And then over here I have Forever Red by Bath & Body Works. I really liked the lotion. I believe it was the hand lotion that I had. And I wanted to get the, the perfume or the body spray. And it was always expensive. It was like $30 to $40. And I ended up getting it for like $10, I think. I got it on sale anyway. So I do really like this. It stays with my body sprays because it doesn't last very long. This one is a, I always want to say hard candy, an Ed Hardy, and it goes with the Love Kills perfume. It was a box set. This one here is by La Senza, and it's called the Body Kiss Seduce. Uh, it's a limited edition. I think it's a shimmery, yeah, it's a shimmery lotion, and it's called Poolside Pinup. Smells really nice, and it is good to put on uh oh, Eva's mad. Your legs in the summer. So yeah, that is my perfume collection slash storage slash display. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will hopefully have some looks up for you very shortly. Hopefully I can get rid of these allergies because they're just lingering. Uh, let me know in the comments below what your favorite perfume or body spray or scent is. I would love to know. Like I said, I am obsessed over this kind of stuff. I wear it all the time. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this and I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye! Mwah.